Ho, ho, ho! Merry Christmas! I'm T.S. Russell, and my friend Bartholomew and I would like to welcome you to the first page Christmas special, The Twelve Pages of Christmas. And on this third day of Christmas, Bartholomew gave to me Letters from Father Christmas by J.R.R. Tolkien. Edited by Bailey Tolkien. Introduction to the children of J.R.R. Tolkien, the interest and importance of Father Christmas extended beyond his filling of their stockings on Christmas Eve, for he wrote a letter to them every year, in which he described in words and pictures his house, his friends, and the events, hilarious or alarming, at the North Pole. The first of the letters came in 1920, when John the eldest was three years old, and for over twenty years, through the childhoods of the three other children, Michael, Christopher, and Priscilla, they continued to arrive each Christmas. Sometimes the envelopes, dusted with snow and bearing polar postage stamps, were found in the house on the morning after his visit. Sometimes the postman brought them, and the letters that the children wrote themselves vanished from the fireplace when no one was about. As time went on, Father Christmas's household became larger, and whereas at first little is heard of anyone else except the North Polar Bear, Later on, there appear snow elves, red gnomes, snowmen, cave bears, and the polar bear's nephews, Paksu and Velkatuka, who came on a visit and never went away. But the polar bear remained Father Christmas's chief assistant, and the chief cause of the disasters that led to muddles and deficiencies in the Christmas stockings. And sometimes he wrote on the letters his comments in angular capitals. Eventually, Father Christmas took on as his secretary an elf named Ilbareth, and in the later letters, elves play an important part in the defense of Father Christmas's house and store cellars against attacks by goblins. In this book are presented numerous examples of Father Christmas's shaky handwriting, and almost all the pictures that he sent are here reproduced, and also included is the alphabet that the polar bear devised from the goblin drawings on the walls of the caves where he was lost and the letter that he sent to the children written in it. And the first letter from Father Christmas, dated December of 1920, and addressed to Master John Tolkien, goes like this. Dear John, I heard you ask Daddy what I was like and where I lived. I have drawn me and my house for you. Take care of the picture. I am just off now for Oxford with my bundle of toys, some for you. Hope I shall arrive in time. The snow is very thick at the North Pole tonight. Your loving Father Christmas.